Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh kit from IBG models. As usual, don't forget to check full review here in the video description below. So click it and read text in English and Russian. As for the kit, this is a 135 scale release, which copies Camel Pioneer SV2S. As you can see, it's a heavy breakdown tractor. This kit was originally announced in Nuremberg Toy Fair and now it is available for purchase and we can check it closer. As you can see it comes in this nice big box. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Uh, on the side we have some safety information and information about the kit. And here we have short history note in three languages. And this is a top opening box and that's what we have inside. So plenty of brown plastic frames and also even I see the poster on the bottom but let's start to check them one by one as far as I can see some screws are absolutely identical but we will find it out a bit later now I need a second to open first plastic bag so that we can check them closer all those screws which are hidden inside okay so here it is uh, what we have here are uh, the parts for wheels and here uh, Polish manufacturer decided to use plastic wheels so there are no vinyl parts at all and as you can see each wheel will have to be assembled out of separate parts and here we have side walls for each tire and note the rim is included. Then we have some minor parts and here we have some parts for external detailing and those are molded in the same quality so no problems with flash or any other issues. Then we have another plastic frame uh, here we have parts for suspension as far as you can see and also even rifles here I can zoom in so that you can see them closer they are molded as one piece parts as you can see but they are placed on two attachment points and here you can see some of the suspension parts. Again quality is quite nice and I hope that assembly will be easy. Then we have another plastic bag, it carries the same uh, set of parts so we won't open it because there is no need. Then we have the next plastic bag which is dedicated to slightly bigger plastic frames. Now I need a second to open it and we will check it closer again. So here are these squarish plastic sprues and as you can guess these are the parts for the front cap here we have for example cowling here we have side parts side panels and front panel is here everything again is molded and placed on thin attachment points so it will be easy to separate these parts and note that they are detailed inside as well so that's also quite a nice feature to have uh, next we have another plastic frame here we have uh, mud guards and also some external parts as well as for example here we have leaf springs for the suspension. Next we have two more plastic frames packed into the same plastic bag. Again give me a second to open it. Okay so here it is and as you can see here we have engine parts here and here also fuel tanks, uh, some minor radons for the engine and everything looks quite fine and I hope that inside we have some position elements but as far as you can see there are no position elements so actually there are there are minor pins which should be helpful for alignment of these two halves together here you can see them so it will be easy to combine these parts and build something interesting. Next we have another square plastic frame. This one is more concerned with minor elements. Again the same molding quality. Maybe I will be concerned about those thin parts because sometimes they are tricky to separate but otherwise it seems to be fine overall and I would say that fitment shouldn't be an issue in this kit. Meanwhile I am opening the next plastic bag and what we have here, uh, for example here you can see steering wheel 
Also we have here some pioneer tools, for example show in the center. Note that we have attachment point in the middle, so again mm, due care will be required because otherwise it will be broken 100%. And then we have some minor elements for the interior detailing, some handles and that's pretty much all for this frame. Next frame is more concerned with frame elements main frame elements and as you can see they are molded as a large one piece um, items and here you can see them from the other side last plastic bag is dedicated also to two plastic frames and this as you can guess will cover rear segment of the vehicle just give me a second to open them so here is the first one. Again we have thin part which is attached in the middle to the sprue. So again be careful while separating it. And then we have the second one which carries these large panels. Of course here we have some modest detailing uh, or let's say wood, wooden surface imitation. And I would recommend to uh, let's say detail it with help of your own means. Maybe sand it a bit. Maybe add the weathering in order to get a more realistic look. By the way note that here on the frame we have small amounts of flesh but not around the parts they are mostly on the uh, frame segments. Next we have plastic bag with tires as I said before we have plastic tires so here you can see them I've removed only four but there are seven in total and as you remember we have side walls molded separately here you can see tire pattern and overall molding quality seems to be fine even if you separate those crosses in the middle uncarefully let's say it still will be fine because it won't be visible it will be closed with side panels and transparent sprue is packed into the separate plastic bag so it won't be scratched uh, there are no masks included into this kit so you will have to cut masks for those parts with your own hands but otherwise quality seems to be fine as you can see all elements will clear and crisp then we have small plastic bag with thread here you can see it, it will imitate the cable on the vehicle um, another plastic bag is dedicated to the decals sheet which is packed together with PE thread. Again, give me a moment to open them. So here they are. Here is a decal sheet. As you can see, we have even some Russian marking option, uh, actually Soviet marking options. And here you can see unpainted PE thread, which will add detail into your model. Then we have assembly manual. Assembly manual is printed in form of this large brochure. As you can see on the first page we straight away we have a paints chart and also we have some safety advices and also part of the PE thread and decals. Then we have parts map for the plastic parts. Assembly process starts with wheels then it continues to engine, mainframe then everything is connected together you assemble front cap and in total we will have to perform 40 steps. As you can see each step is six point with help of those 3D images. Then here we have, uh, let's say, 3D render of the assembled vehicle. And here we have marking options which are included into this kit. So here is a German one for the Africa Corps. Here is a Soviet one of the Red Army. Uh, this one is US one as far as you can see another US vehicle and one more marking option. So in total there are one, two, three, four, five marking options included. What can be considered as a nice addition because you don't usually see that many marking options in one uh, armor kit. So that's all for this video review. As you can see we have another detailed 135 scale kit from IBG models and if you are interested in World War II vehicles this one should be definitely checked by you and by the way I almost forgot that on the bottom of the box we have as I said before this nice poster which can be placed in the frame and 
you can put it on your wall or maybe on your work table. Still it, it copies the same picture as we see on the box art of this model. So as again I will say that that's all for this video review. Don't forget to check um, comment section, write your opinion there. And of course if you want to help us press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.